Hello there, another really busy day here at Minds and Money Connect. Well, Nick Appleyard is joining us just now from TriStar Gold. Nick, great to have you here. Katie, thanks for having me here today. Pleasure. So you've travelled all the way from Arizona to be here in London. What are you here to do? So we're here with the you know, with TriStar, obviously promoting the Casilla de Sonia's project, um, which has yeah, been going really well for us. You know, we're permitting big reserve now from a pre-feasibility study, and um, yeah, we're sort of seeing what the investment world thinks of that now. Okay, so tell us all about it in Brazil, and yeah. what are you trying to achieve there? So we've just published that pre-feasibility study. So we've got you know, 1.4 million ounces in reserves. It's going really, you know, it's, it's a big asset. Um, we're in permitting and um, really we're just trying to show the world that there's, um, there's a big asset there in, in, in this junior company and we're trying to um, permit it. So permits will come through next year and when you get a 1.4 million ounces fully permitted, that's a different set of valuations than we're seeing now. So I think that's what's exciting people about the project. Okay, this is going to take 15 months. What happens in the meantime? So. Um, we've just raised money, we just had an investment from Oromet, so we've just raised $5 million, so we'll be doing some exploration to make it even bigger. So that'll be happening this year, um, so that'll be the public front of what we're doing. The exploration drilling is what people like to see, but that's all up and beyond the 1.4 million ounces to grow that. Um, in the background, that permit, so those permits coming through um, is really what's going to drive the value, you know, it's what people are coming in. People seem to be looking now for you know, come in now, they've got an 18 month horizon and you've got a $60 million market cap now and you know, a permanent project to that scale is going to be uh, you know, multiples of that. So. so I would imagine you're telling investors you need to get in now? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, tell so, us what you're telling investors. So yeah, so we're saying that, we're saying we've got an asset now, pre-feasibility study, no permits and we've got a $60 million market cap when you've got that same asset in a great location in a mining jurisdiction um, with no red flags and permitting at all so you know, we're expecting this to go quite smooth um, you know you, you're going to get a massive re-rating when that's permitted so even though it's 15 months away the jump is big you know so get in now because it's going to start ramping up towards that and we are seeing that people are liking that story they're coming in with a with a slightly longer time frame maybe a change in the shareholder base to a more professional sort of shareholder right compared to the explorationists. So. You sound very confident. Um, it's really good. Right now, everything on this asset is in our control. I mean, it's sort of, but we've got enough money to do this, to permit it. We're not relying on the market. So I know we can do this with our team, which I have a lot of confidence in. The project is good. It's done everything it needs to. Um, so yeah, we're not relying on anyone external. So it's, it's, it's up to us now. And what else is happening at TriStar? Um, that's it. We're, we're, we're doing this exploration. We're, we're using some artificial intelligence to do that, which is fascinating to me, and, and it really helps us streamline our exploration. But we, yeah, we still want to grow this asset even bigger, so we're focused on, on Castello de Sonia, sort of Castle of Dreams. Um, really, it's that exploration and permitting, the two, two, the two focuses right now. And you told us what you're telling investors here, but what kind of reaction have you been getting? Um, Really positive. I was concerned, you know, the gold price drop on Monday that there'd be a little slow, but it's been really, really positive. We're getting, um, you know, the amount of follow-up I've already got down in my diary is huge. Um, so I'm seeing this biggest, bigger investor, bigger, more professional level investors looking for these development assets. And I don't think there are many out there in, in good mining jurisdictions. So. Uh, um, the feedback have been really positive. All right, a convincing case. Thank you very much indeed from TriStar Gold. That's Nick Appleyard. Thank you very much.